Mark, I play guitar and I sing. Hey, I'm Aaron and I play bass. My name is Ben and um, I play guitar and I sing. My name is Taylor Wilhan and I play drums. My name's Chris and uh, I play drums in the band. Uh, we're a band called Jupiter Sunrise. Jupiter Sunrise. Woo! It's Jupiter Sunrise. J -j 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 Jupiter Sunrise. Whoa! And we're very special. About a year and a half ago, I was just playing solo acoustic on my own as Jupiter Sunrise, and I did um, record the little the blue record with the mountain on it in my living room. And uh, I went on tour by myself. Things went pretty well. I didn't plan for it to happen. I just did. So I made my way to L.A. and called up Ben, whose band had just broken up. I said, come on out, be a part of my new band. Uh, my band, The Orange, is splitting up. So uh, we started doing some East Coast touring a little bit here and there, and he continued out to California. And then when I got back um, home to New York, my band split up for good. So I joined him out here, and we found uh, the rest of our bandmates and started um, the rock band. When I was driving across the country to move out here to Los Angeles, uh, I was in Little Rock, Arkansas, in a wild oats market, eating a sandwich, when Mark called me and said, hey, I'm starting up a band and uh, I need a drummer. And I said, I'll be there in three days. March of 2002 or so, I was working at uh, a instrument store and uh, Ben and Mark were buying an amplifier. We don't know you, but you seem like a nice guy. Do um, you play bass by chance? And I did, and so, uh, so I was like, eh, that's no big deal. Everybody needs a bass player, you know? Long story short, uh, we ended up uh, being in the band together, and it's been pretty fun. I didn't start the band. Describe me. <clears throat> How do I describe myself? Um... I don't know how to describe myself. Ben's amazing. I love Ben. And, uh... Stereotypical, artistic, uh... I don't know, egghead guy. But don't ask him where we are, or what time it is, or the day, or what his, you know, phone number is. He won't remember. In keeping with bass player personalities, I'm pretty solid. Uh, at, you know, personality-wise, and kind of act as the band mother, I suppose. It's like the mom in the band. Our resident mom. Aaron! Aaron's a great guy. <laughs> Aaron is a, a big ham <laughs> when he plays. He's uh, doing as much Broadway theater as he is anything else. So, um, in fact, I think that's him right now, hamming it up somewhere. I'm, not, I'm a nice guy, I have respect for people and stuff. Uh, Chris, real stable person as well, being the drummer and all. He's got to kind of drive the bus, which is actually exactly what he does. He's like, he drives the bus. Is that he drives the bus? Chris is an awesome guy. He's just really dedicated, so good at the drums. He's so good. And he's also very good at just being like a ridiculous. What did the other guy say about me? What I well, I describe myself as the master of video games, and I can school everyone. I think I'm the hothead of the band. I'm the moody one. Uh, but that's good. He's very focused and intense sometimes. Not funny. Don't tell him I said this, but he's freaking really talented at a lot of things, so... And he's a great... Oh. Huh. I have a wonderful personality. <laughs> He's a dork, just like the rest of us, so. Chris and Aaron have a very bad gas problem. Now we know. Now we know. A lot of people, you know, are 
trying to figure out what the meaning of life is and whatnot. And I think one of the most important things we can do, whether it's the meaning of life or not, but it's going out and experiencing things, experiencing different things, and sharing those experiences with different people, too. Oh, uh, we tour a lot, and uh, I like it a lot, too. Uh, we don't really have any place to live, so we have to tour all the time. Um, well, I usually tour on and off. I mean, touring is really fun. I like touring. I think I like seeing new places and playing a lot of video games. Um, I like the people. I'm very influenced by the Beatles and John Lennon and a lot of classic rock. Um, uh, modern bands that I like are like, you know, Radiohead and Beck and the Flaming Lips. In middle school, I never really got into like um, Bon Jovi and stuff and, um, and Poison. I just couldn't, I didn't like it. I've been listening to a lot of classic rock lately and I'm kind of a big like one hit wonder nut. It's, I don't know how that exactly happened. I never went through a Led Zeppelin phase where I learned how to play Stairway. Musically. Uh, my favorite band ever is the is the Police. I'm a huge fan of the Police, and Stuart Copeland, their drummer, is my favorite drummer. I like Floggy Molly and Cody and Cambria. I never got into like um, glammy hair rock stuff until now. Of course, now I love it. Sometimes I'm inspired by songs. Usually, I'm inspired by events and people. It's amazing where where you can find inspiration. You can find inspiration from the from the from a person you meet for a couple of seconds. You can learn something from everybody, whether it's a 10-year-old kid like Taylor. Mr. Superhero Man. Or, you know, an 85-year-old person like, like my grandfather, stuff like that. So, people, everybody, everybody's inspiring. Well, we're recording a record here in Burbank, California with Joe Zook and Marshall Altman. They're off, we probably, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but they're off there editing down bits and pieces of our songs right now, which is kind of cool. I would have to say it's, uh, it's been one of the easiest recordings I've ever been involved in. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, and I think I rocked it big time. I would love it if this band was a band for 20 years. I'm already writing my space rock opera. The big goals are to get the music out to everybody who would want to hear it. I think it'll be a real good band. I think it's. I think it's going to get really good. It's going to blow up. Oh, shoot!